The 14th annual HIV update meeting brings together over a thousand medical experts from across the world in the fight against HIV to aggregate frontier science and breakthroughs, the latest being the cure of a man living with HIV who also had cancer. The anonymous City of Hope patient was reportedly cured following a stem cell transplant. Such a procedure presents complexities since it requires matching genes from an HIV-resistant donor. Because this is a very complex um, procedure and we also don't have many people who are resistant to HIV to go around and donate. The person has to be resistant to HIV but they also have to match your cells so that you don't reject them. Doctors around the world opt for gene therapy which has been studied around 40 times. The Joint Clinical Research Center says it has made steps to pioneer the research. So we have formed what we call the Global Gene Therapy Initiative and this has over 60 experts from around the world and we are working with them with a the goal of bringing this kind of research into sub-Saharan Africa. The goal is to have the first research by 2024 and we are working towards that. We've talked to our president, we are talking to government in terms of funding but we are also talking to the experts and some of our teams are already training. When they do meet us as JCRC and the international uh, community here, they are able to give us groundbreaking researches and findings, both which are easily implementable science or will advise our policy, so that as we make suggestions and spending and investing in our health, we are basing on empirical data. In October last year, Joint Clinical Research Center launched clinical trials in Uganda on long-acting injectable antiretroviral medicine, a preferred option for daily tablets. So this study is ongoing. We have uh, now recruited all the participants, a total of 512, and we are continuing to follow them up until next year. But the purpose for this study is really to generate data from uh, sub-Saharan Africa. Experts observe that there is less suppression of viral load in people living with HIV despite high enrollment and have called for more sensitization and education about medicine. Edward Mahumza, NTV.